Here in Studio One, I've got a lead vocal in green here, and then a whole bunch of harmony vocals in blue. There's 10 of those all in all. Let's just have a quick listen for some context. Now that's not bad, but it could be a whole lot more polished if some of the timing of the vocals was corrected, if they were aligned nicely. If I now play this in solo, it's probably going to be a bit more clear to you that some of them are not aligned very well. You can see it visually already. And also, because some of them are panned hard left and right, the timing issues tend to be accentuated as you get this kind of a ping pong effect. Have a listen. Though we played it all these games yet I will forget you. Now this can definitely be fixed manually by using tools that we have here in Studio One. But later on I'm going to show you an awesome plugin so that you can do it automatically and really, really quickly. But first of all, how would I fix this in Studio One manually? Well, probably by using the Audio Bend tool. I'm just going to focus on one of these harmony vocals. I'm just going to stretch it open a little bit there. And I am going to just press E on the keyboard just to zoom in on that. Okay, let's just move that across so we can see three notes here this is what we're going to work on you can see as i say the main vocal at the top there we'll use that as our guide i'm just going to right click on this track and just click here where it says bend marker so that later on i'll be able to see bend markers i'll press escape on the keyboard to get rid of that dialogue and then i'm going to press number seven on the keyboard to bring up my bend marker tool okay so i'm going to start off just by putting some markers in by clicking at the beginning and the end of these notes okay so we'll do it like so yep and it's important that you do the beginning and the end now if this was on a whole song you definitely want to make sure you do that because it can mess up some of the timing of things after the uh, marker that you're adjusting okay so then we will go to one of these markers just hover over it and i'm just going to make sure that i do have my snap turned off okay you can toggle snap on and off by pressing n on the keyboard yeah so now that it's off i can just grab one of these markers and just drag out the beginning of my audio there and i'm using the green main vocal above as a bit of a guide okay so i'll just grab these markers do that like so and that's how i can adjust the timing of these vocals so that they all roughly match the lead vocal okay and i think the fact that it's done roughly is actually helpful it still makes sure that it's a little bit sort of natural okay so that's one way that you can adjust the timing now if you do have melodyne installed you may want to use that for adjusting the timing as well so let's have a look and see how we can do that i'll just get rid of my ben markers there and undo that i'll just right click on my clip again and then just turn off the ben markers and i'm just going to press escape to get rid of that dialogue and just drag across this area and press alt x on my keyboard just to separate this it just makes melodyne work a little bit quicker if i'm just working on these three notes okay so i'll press Control m on my keyboard so i can edit this with melodyne we can see our three notes here now this may depend on what version of melodyne you've got as to whether this tool is available i think it's available on most versions but you'll have to have a look and see um, i'm going to go across to this tool here which if i hover over it you'll see is the time tool i'll just click on that and now one thing i want to make sure of although i may have snap turned on or off in studio one that doesn't relate to snap in melodyne itself to adjust that i'll have to go up to options in melodyne click on that go to time grid and just turn it off here okay by clicking that active checkbox 
off. Okay, so now I can grab um, the beginnings of these notes here in Melodyne and I can drag them around. Yeah, you can see I'm doing it here and I can also, it's got a little bit of a sibilance there as well, which I can sort of drag around as well. Now, one sort of downside to using Melodyne with this is that in order to line it up visually, you'll need to make sure you've got Melodyne applied to all of the tracks that you're going to do. So I would need to have applied this to um, my main vocal as well and then sort of switch them both on in Melodyne so I can use it as a visual reference. That's one downside. But in my opinion, there is a much better way of doing this, especially if you've got many vocals to work with like I have. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Mike. And I hope you will. I reckon a much better way of doing this is to use a plugin called Vocaline. It integrates really well with Studio One. And once you know how to use it, which I'll show you in a moment, it's super quick and easy. It's going to save you hundreds of hours of time in the future. Now, if after watching this demo, you're impressed and you decide to go ahead and buy this plugin, don't forget to follow the link in the description down below. If you buy it using that link i will get a small commission at no extra cost to you thank you for that in advance now let's dive in so once you have Vocaline installed, the first thing to note is it's not used in the same way as regular plugins, okay? You don't use it as an insert on a channel. Instead, it's much more like Melodyne because this is an ARA or an ARA plugin, okay? So it integrates in a much tighter way with the underlying audio. Now, in order to use it, the first thing I need to do is select all of the tracks I'm going to use it with, that being the main vocal, although I'm not going to adjust the timing of that and all of the harmony vocals so I'm just going to drag out across all of those clips I'm going to be using it with you can see that they're all selected because they've got that bl light blue outline I'm going to go to the top to the audio menu here click on that and then find edit with vocal line you could of course assign a keyboard shortcut to this to make it much quicker and easier but i'm just going to use the menu for now so i'll click on that and just wait a moment or two and then the vocal line interface appears at the bottom so the first thing we need to do is give vocal line a reference that's going to be the main vocal yes yeah? so i'm going to select that yeah that's the one in green at the top here. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go down to Vocaline and press Capture. Pretty much instantly you can see it there. Now do remember we're not going to be changing the timing of this main vocal at all. This is the reference. But we do want to change the timing of all of the harmonies and we're going to do them all at once. So again I'm just going to drag um, across all of them to select them like so and you can see they're all selected and now I'm going to go and make sure first of all that I've got a preset selected of some kind it's just handy so I'm using Titus timing as the preset here and then I'm going to press on the capture key here okay this is going to capture all of those backing vocals and it's going to automatically adjust the timing right away let's do that now and it's almost ready. You just have to look down here to where it says output and yet yeah, it's ready. So it's already done the alignment. Now you can't visually see it yet up here um, in Studio One. Okay, we'll, we'll see that later, but not at the moment. But we can listen to it. Let's have a listen. Though we played it all these games yet I will find it's actually very good already you could probably tighten it up a little bit i'm just going to go over here and go to the alignment rule and i'm going to go for we'll try maximum expansion okay we'll have a listen to that though we played it all these games yet i will forget you that's pretty good for me. Now, I just want you to notice that there's one line up here, the one we were adjusting earlier, 
And can you see that the vocalist didn't actually sing all of the words here? There's one word that they left out, but Vocaline deals with that. It understands that, okay? So if you've got a big, if you're doing this to a whole song and there's sections where the harmonies, you know, are there, they're present in some parts, but not in others, it's okay. You can still use this method. Now, occasionally you'll get unexpected results from this. This has worked fine for me, but you could get unexpected results sometimes where you'll find certain words are wildly out of place. If that happens, the main way you fix that is by going to this setting over here where it says maximum shift, okay? This just sets a limit to how far something can be moved in terms of milliseconds, okay? So you'd want to play with some different settings, but usually around about sort of 20 or 30 is going to work really really well if that happens i have to say it only happens very occasion that's really job done for vocal line now i don't think at this stage i need this plugin hanging around in my session okay so i'm actually going to bounce these tracks but i just want to make sure that i emphasize to you before you bounce these tracks make sure you save your project to a new file name okay not just save it but to a new file name so you can always go back to your original vocal timing if you need to okay so i'm just gonna again just grab all of these tracks like so they're all selected i'll press Control b on my keyboard and now as it actually bounces these just visually look around up here you'll see now in studio one as it does this we can visually see them lining up let's do that Control b it's just going through all 10 of them one by one almost done and ping it's done and just at the last minute there you could just sort of see the timing of these get much much better i think this is a really quick way especially when you're dealing with lots of vocals at the same time <laughs> don't forget if you want to get your hands on vocal line follow the link in the description down below now timing is one thing pitch is another i still think that the best tool for correcting pitch is melodyne you can find out how i use melodyne in studio one right here